Michigan parents issuing cries for help on social media after spending years advocating for mental health services for their children and highlighting their exhaustion with the state's mental health system. TV5's Rachel McCrary tonight has been getting answers on a problem many medical experts recognize as difficult to navigate. She takes a closer look at what the state is doing, plus the painful decision facing one parent. Well, when he turned four years old, that's when I started to see things that really, really concerned me. Mental health issues plagued Sarah Schmier's son for years. Emergency room stints and short-term mental health care stays became a way of life. The hospitalizations, you know, the giving him more meds, sedate him, you know, that's not treatment. That was never treatment for him. Early on, she says she was told that her little boy, who is now nine, would never function in a home setting. The family assumed guardianship of him when he was four months old. The Shepherd native, who now lives in Metro Detroit, says her son had violent outbursts and there were concerns that he may seriously harm himself. Doctors told Schmier her son needed to be institutionalized long term. 30 day stints in acute care. We're not working. Last year, Schmier says her son was put into a treatment facility after a severe mental crisis. After a few weeks, the facility called saying her son was ready to go home, but Schmier feared for her family's safety if he returned. I don't want to have to terminate our guardianship, but I can't. I'm not, I would have to have my other children leave my home again. So she made the heartbreaking decision no parent wants to make. She terminated her parental rights. She felt that if she didn't bring him home, she would lose her other children. Other families have had trouble getting long-term treatment too. I felt like I was in quicksand. Kevin Fisher's son, Dominique, struggled with mental illness for years. At just 23, he died by suicide. Filled with grief and feeling like there was nowhere else to turn, Fisher became involved with the National Alliance on Mental Illness, or NAMI. Years later, he's now the executive director of the Michigan chapter. There needs to be more psychiatric beds. There needs to be more consistency in treatment. And we need to protect our public behavior health care system. So what's being done about this growing problem? State Representative Mary Whiteford is one of the lawmakers working to address those exact issues. There's so many people who have been suffering. As a former pediatric nurse, Wiper knows all too well about the lag in mental health resources. That's why she's pushed through bills that support a Michigan crisis and access line, a number you can call for help and resources. This is supposed to be going statewide over the next year as they work out all the kinks and get it working right. But it is something um, that no other state has where even a mom or a sister can call for a loved one. She's also worked on legislation that will create psychiatric residential facilities and crisis stabilization units. She says these would help with bed shortages and provide a place for people to go in crisis. To attract more psychiatric nurses, Whiteford proposed a bill to give a $30,000 stipend upon graduation. And she says soon she will announce a plan on mental health care reform to help families, especially foster and adoptive parents. That's been the biggest effort of the task force that I'm on. Um, making sure that every child has a champion and a forever family. And how do we do that when there's so many different layers? Unfortunately, new legislative changes will take a while to roll out and isn't helping people like Shamir who believes the system already failed her. Giving up her son was the hardest thing she says she's ever done and has left her family heartbroken. She wishes every day that the mental health care system was different. You know, we need to get a, 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 a streamlined uh, process of how this is supposed to work and have it across the board. Rachel McCrary reporting with WNEM TV5. You can find resources to help in the event of a mental health crisis by heading to the hotlink section of our website, WNEM.com.